In this video, I'm going to do a demonstration of how to install a flooring threshold on concrete. It shouldn't matter if it's tile, hardwood flooring, laminate flooring. It really doesn't matter. They all attach the same. It's a very easy process and it's very cheap too. If you're a subscribed member to my community, then welcome back. If you're new to this channel, consider clicking that subscribe button below and please like this video if you found it helpful for you. So without further ado, let's dive right in. All right, so we're gonna measure the door here first, obviously, about 30 and an eighth right there. Okay. Now what I like to do is I kind of like to um, center the nails in the door. That way there's an equal amount of holes on each side and they look pretty uniform. So I'm marking my center hole right there. And then let's go ahead and cut this off. Um, if you don't have a grinder like this, um, you can use a hacksaw or something like that. But you definitely need a way to cut metal. And see we're cutting off both sides. That way we keep the nail holes even in the doorway. So what I like to do here is kind of even up the, um, the reveal on the door. That way it looks, uh, it's not all crooked in the doorway. And then I'm going to hold it down with my feet uh, so that it doesn't move while I'm marking the holes. And what I'm doing is I'm using a small enough um, hammer drill bit to go through those uh, nail holes without damaging the uh, threshold. And this way I'm marking into the concrete very well without um, without scratching anything up and once you get all those holes drilled uh, remove your piece and now you can see all the dust mounds where I've been drilling and I'm gonna go back and open those holes up to a quarter inch with a quarter inch drill bit and you'll see why here in just a minute so I'm gonna re-drill those five holes and make them a quarter inch and then um, we'll continue on from there. All right, there's the last one. And now once you, um, once you get the holes all drilled up, you want to vacuum all that dust out of there. And especially you want to vacuum the dust out of the bottom of that hole. Uh, we're going to put a dowel rod down in that hole. Here's a quarter inch dowel rod right here. And you don't want that dust in the bottom of the hole. So go ahead and hammer that puppy in there until it bottoms out. Just like so. And then cut it off. You notice I'm holding the uh, zipper right here just a little bit above um, at an angle right there. So it's not rubbing on the floor. I call it a zipper. It's an oscillating tool. Um, but just kind of hold it at an angle so that you're not flush on the floor. Otherwise, you're going to scratch the new floor all to pieces. And hammer that down until it bottoms out and same thing holding it up at an angle and this only is affecting the edge of the flooring which is going to be covered up by the uh, threshold piece anyway all right last one put our piece in there and yeah as you can see here my nail must have got started a little crooked but uh, that's okay it wound up going right on in there and then just put all your nails in through them dowels. And once you put the nails down through the dowels, the dowel will expand in the concrete. And that's going to keep that dowel from pulling back out. So uh, it's going to be very tight, no problem. And see here, I'm pulling on that puppy and it's as tight as can be. That's not going anywhere. Okay, thanks for watching.